In this lesson, we're going to take a look at the various viewing options available in BricsCAD. We'll begin by looking at the functionality of the wheel mouse. If you're using a wheel mouse in BricsCAD, you can zoom in and out of your drawing by simply rolling the wheel towards you or away from you. As I roll the wheel toward me, the drawing is zoomed in. Rolling the wheel away from me, the drawing is zoomed out. You will also notice that it's sensitive to the location of the cursor. So if I wanted to zoom into this area with the wheel mouse, I'm going to want to place my cursor in the area that I'm wanting to zoom into. Placing it in this corner and rolling it, you can see that BricsCAD will attempt to keep that area within the view constraints. Double-clicking the wheel mouse will perform a zoom extents operation. Holding the wheel mouse down performs a panning operation, in which case the drawing view is panned based upon the direction that you move the mouse. There are other viewing tools available on the view toolbar, including the real-time zoom, which works in very similar fashion. Holding the left mouse button down will do a real-time zoom in and out of the drawing as you move the mouse forward and backwards. You can also access the command from the command line. For example, if I enter Z and press enter, that will execute the zoom command. By default, it's going to be a zoom window. And I do that by simply selecting two points on the screen. So again, zoom spacebar, simply pick two points on the screen, and I'm going to zoom to that area. The next thing that we want to take a look at is the look from controls. And the look from control is by default located in the top right corner of the screen. And it gives you the ability to look at your model from predefined orientations or viewpoints. So for example, in this 3D model of a house, I can select the top back left corner. I can select the top back right corner, top front right. I can look at it in an orthographic view from the right directly, from the left directly, from the front, and from the top. It's also worth pointing out that when using the look from control, the control key works as a modifier. So for example, here you can see that selecting this option will execute a top back left view. But if I hold the control key down, the look from control changes slightly and now it's reading a down back left in the tooltip and selecting that option will now view the model from underneath. So with the control key down, we're actually viewing the model from underneath and with the control key released, we're viewing the model from the top. So the control key acts again as a modifier for the look from tool. If I select the center of the look from control, that gives me the top view. Again, let's take a look at the front view and then switch back to a top front left. You can also use the look from control to twist or rotate the orientation of your, your drawing. So if I right click on the control and select twist mode, you'll see the graphic changes slightly. And now I can simply rotate the orientation of my drawing by simply selecting an angle. And if I select in the center of that control, the drawing is going to be returned back to its default orientation. And that will sum up the various options for viewing your drawing using zoom tools as well as the look from controls.